So I'm here looking at Overland Bound member 351, Humberto, and his beautiful Bronco that he's been working on for the last nine months. And it is pretty much fully kitted. We took this up to Bald Mountain Lookout and uh, it made it look like kitten play. <laughs> he just crawled right up the right up the mountain. He's got cambridge suspension, roto packs, a Yakima top rack, and I'm going to guess those are Rigid Inter Industries LEDs. And this thing is just beautiful. And because it's so capable, we didn't do any damage to it yesterday. And I don't know how he did this, but going up and down the mountain, it doesn't look like anything got dirty but the tires. <laughs> but this is a, a fantastic rig. Goose Gear helped us out with our overland bound off the grid rally and um, Matt is going to walk us through some of the uh, Goose Gear equipment. We really appreciate so, it. So we're calling this the fridge garage. All right. Fridge box. Hold okay. the fridge. Lock in, lock out drawer guide. Uh huh. So the fridge is still easily accessible yep. and you can still stack your gear on top and around without not being able to get to your fridge. Right, right, right. Now, how do you fasten this to the to the deck of the rig? How do you guys, rec what do you recommend? So what we do is, with the, with this kit, uh -huh. if, we, if you're doing it at home, you, we recommend putting a piece of plywood down or some other sort of wood that you can get. We try and bolt to the factory anchor points, which is what we did here. Uh -huh. So he actually has a roll bar in this system, so we actually used, we went through with the roll bar mounts yep. and secured this down. And then we put nuts, yeah, T nuts from the bottom. Mm -hmm. So all of these, both of these boxes, if, once you're done overlanding, you can take the drawer out, take the fridge out, and in 12 volts you can take both of these out, and you have the whole back of your truck is accessible again. Cool. So when you get done with your trip, you can pull everything out. You got your storage. You still have you can your still go to the grocery store back. and go get yep. some stuff, and then you can bolt it back in. So this was a custom build where we actually built and installed everything. Yep. So we got, like you said, the fridge slide, lock in, lock out drawer guys, you have full access to it. Uh -huh. Locks in, and then the drawers are on a compression latch. Okay. And then they're going to be on a full extension drawer guide. So you're going to get almost every single inch of this drawer is going to be completely accessible. Cool. Yeah, it's all dovetailed Baltic birch. So as far as strength, it's incredibly strong. Mm -hmm. The drawer guides we use are uh, extremely heavy duty. These are 350 pound rating drawer guides. So they carry an enormous amount of load. Mm -hmm. We don't recommend putting that much weight in your car anyway. Yeah. For overlanding, you want to be light. Right. But we want to overbuild it so that it'll last a lifetime. Right, right. Now, do you guys, um, how does installation work? They go to you guys to have it installed? Can they install it themselves or, you know, so how So either do you... way, we ship these boxes all over the country. Yeah. In Canada. So okay. we ship them everywhere and people install them themselves, themselves. You know, we do supply foot brackets at the bottom. Uh -huh. and they run on an extrusion so you can move them to wherever you want to, depending on where your vehicle goes. Okay. Um, we are working on a system where, depending on the vehicle, you know, the, the Forerunners, the Tacomas, mm -hmm. the uh, Jeep market. Yep. We're actually working on a system where it, and Land Cruisers, of course. Yeah. Where everything will be more modular. Yeah. And it'll, you can buy the platform and then everything will just bolt in and you can add different options. And that's a system we're currently developing right now. Got it. Is this aluminum? Yeah. This uh, is aluminum frame? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's all aluminum, aluminum. extrusion. Right. Yep. Yeah. All aluminum extrusion. Uh-huh. Aluminum corner pieces that uh -huh. bolt right into the, the length. Yep. Okay. And then the drawer system is wood mm -hmm. with all stainless steel fasteners throughout the entire thing. Okay. So cool. Sounds like it. No corrosion. Built to last. Right. Yeah. 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 And then with a new system, you have anchor points mm -hmm. that you can slide and put it wherever you want. So now you have easy way to accept it to get all your stuff, all your gear. You can load this up with stuff Yep. and still have access to all your stuff. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I haven't done the drawer system in my rings yet, but it's something I've been looking at yet, for a really long time. Yet. <laughs> yet is the, yet is the key. Once you have it, you'll never go back. I'll Everyone that has it, they're like, why didn't I do this? Right. Yeah. <laughs> right.
right? What else should we know about Goose Gear? Any other products or uh, other things that you guys do? Um, yeah, you know, we do carry uh, CVT tents. Oh yeah, which is okay. Cascadia tents. We uh -huh. carry those. We have them in stock and on display, so people can come mm -hmm. in the showroom and actually crawl in them and check them out. Yeah. Uh, as well as uh, Blue Ridge Overland Gear, which yeah. is uh, all this storage bags and stuff like that are plant and made in America. Mm -hmm. Great products. And all of those things are on our website. Great, great, cool. Well, you guys. Thanks a lot for helping us out with the rally. No problem. You, uh, great success. Yeah, awesome. yeah. We had a great time. Um, go to their go to their website. Check them out. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks a lot. All right. All right. See you guys. Thank cool. you. Yeah. So, what is this here? This <laughs> is so you can lift Jack to your, your truck. Uh huh. But I had a piece of wood just laying around. Yep. And when the guy that um, did a lot of the detail work uh -huh. underneath um, he saw that somehow you know one day I came back to right. pick up the truck and he had the piece of wood he uh-huh really <laughs> it just that's the name of his business uh, right his detail oh that is awesome so yeah I saw that, this that, sticking that, out and I was, was like, like a surprise for me oh that is so cool Number 351 matches the badge. That's really, really cool. They, they, I, I think um, they burn it. Uh huh. No, and then. Did it. Yeah. That's really, really cool. <laughs>